Welcome to another installment of the Mastercam Studio at Prototech. This exclusive video series features the exceptional functionality found only within Mastercam, the number one most widely used cam software in the world. Here's the topic of today's video. Today we're going to take a look at a new tool path in Mastercam 2022 called Unify. Let's go ahead and take a look on my part. So on my part, I have a light gray surfaces that I want to uh, apply a multi-axis tool path to. Now in the past, and we still do, we have morph, parallel, full line, and a bunch of other multi-axis tool paths to pick from. But in this case here, we're gonna use the new Unified, which is kind of a blend of all them tool paths all in one. So up in the multi-axis tool path, there's a new tool path called Unified. I'm simply gonna go click on there. Now the thing about this tool path is it hasn't changed dramatically. It's not a brand new, uh, completely tool path. What it is, is it's a new cut pattern page, but everything else with collision control linking is all going to be the same that you're used to in multi-axis. So if I go to the cut pattern page, you're gonna notice that the top half of this page has changed quite a bit. Um, now we have multiple options to pick different tool path patterns. We have automatic, we have add curve row, we had add, add surface row, and we have add plane row. So let's go ahead on this part and take a look at this first starting with automatic. So I simply just click on automatic, and this is going to give me options. So I'm gonna have machining boundary parallel, machining boundary morph, surface boundary parallel, surface boundary morph, center parallel, and center morph. So you can start picking your options out of here where you'd like to start. I'm just gonna start with the machining boundary parallel. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick my machining geometries here, which will be all of these light gray surfaces. I'm simply just going to go ahead and green check just to see what kind of pattern I get right off the bat and we can uh, make changes from there. So as you see here, the automatic kind of gives me a scallop type tool path which is going to start at the outside and just collapse on itself all the way to the inside. Now maybe this pattern is good enough for you, but maybe this isn't the pattern we're going after. So this is what makes Unified a very good tool path because we can simply just go back and change our pattern and see our differences on the screen. So I'm gonna go back into the tool path here and we're gonna look at some other options. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this. So anytime you have a pattern, maybe you don't want it, just a simple red X gets you out of it and lets you start over. So I'm gonna add two curve rows here. Now, the options we have for the style are morph, project, and guide. In this case, I wanna pick a morph for both of these. And on my first curve, I have this option here to go ahead and select my guide curve. So I'm gonna pick this first orange curve here. On my second curve, I'm gonna go pick the other one. Now once again, I don't have to change anything else to see my pattern. All I have to do is green check out a master cam, and this is going to update to that pattern as I'm seeing on the screen now, which is kind of cool. Now when we run this, this is like your standard morph tool path. So we went from an automatic tool path, which is more of a scallop, to a morph that we're all used to picking out of the morph tool path. And the cool thing about it, like I said, is this is all built into one. So we don't have to go back and forth and reset up all of our tool paths to get a different pattern. Other options we have here, if I get rid of these two, is maybe I just want to do a guide on there. Once again, I could just pick guide. Now this is just going to guide along that first curve I picked. So once this regenerates, you'll see how my pattern kind of falls apart because it's not morphing at this point. It's just pretty much a, a parallel tool path that you're used to like previous. If we come back into our parameters again, we're gonna change our pattern once again, and we're gonna go to a surface row. Now surface row has full lines, U, V, parallel and guide in here once again. So if I go to full line U and just simply green check, now I'm going to get a full line tool path like you're used to in the multi-axis tool paths without going back into the tool path and, and creating a new one, which is kind of cool. So here's my next pattern here with flow line. As you can see, now I have a nice flowing pattern, depending on if all my flow lines work out for me correctly. And one last cut we'll take a look at in here is surface rows, or plane rows, I should say. 
So in here, I have all my options here. If I just go to a WCSZ pattern and green check out of here, so I'm not changing anything once again, I'm just changing my cut pattern. Now I'm seeing a different cut about Z. So this is going to take this cut and it's going to flip it the other way and possibly give me a, a different cut pattern potentially that I would want in this case. So as you can see, we just went through how many different cuts on this unified tool path to get that many different patterns. And we have about double that uh, for options that we didn't even go into yet for different cut patterns. Uh, when you get back, and if you are using a multi-axis seat of Mastercam, I uh, would highly suggest going to the unified tool path. This is an absolute game changer for the multi-axis programming world. And we have it here in Mastercam 2022. And as always, we thank you for watching our videos and hopefully you check out our YouTube channel since we're adding videos constantly on there.